All right, crew, we are back. Uh, I did a rundown of my upper receiver. Wanted to go ahead and uh, give a breakdown of what I have on my lower receiver uh, for my Sons of Liberty scalper uh, lower. <clears throat> so obviously, as I just said, it is a, a Sons of Liberty scalper lower. Uh, it does have their cool scalper engraving and cool uh, safety selectors. The Peace pipe, the head canoe, and then uh, war party in the full auto position. The M4 pocket I did add in here, and lighting is kind of horrible, but um, and it's under this pin. But <clears throat> Brownells does stock the tensioner screws. Um, there you go. You can see the little green tip. Um, I believe these were made by Aero Precision and Suns doesn't send them in their lowers. Honestly, if you're running their uppers, you shouldn't need them. Um, I put one in there because over time, obviously things are gonna loosen up and uh, I wanted to have that in there already so that I could go ahead and, and snug it down. Um, <clears throat> but I have my B5 grip, which is stippled by Sinner Customs, uh, my good buddy. We've got our Geisley government trigger that's the SSAX um, it is not to be confused with the SSAX that is on the uh, the Super Duty the Super Duty has a lightning bow so it is a different shape as well as the trigger spring is actually a little lighter uh, I believe the high point on the on the pull of this is 5.25 um, and the the pull on the uh, lightning bow from the Super Duty is down at like 4.75. Uh, so it's about a half pound difference at the max. Um, <clears throat> the pins and everything, I went with the Sons of Liberty um, semi-complete lower parts kit. So I'm using their safety at the moment. Might change this to an ambi up in the air. Uh, and their takedown pins, all their springs. Uh, I will say this is probably some of the better fitting springs that I've had. As for detents and all that, they're very um, easy to to pop in and out. There's not like a uh, a fight to it. Like I've definitely had some in the past where they're super tight fitting, um, and these these fit great. Uh, both Suns lowers that I have are exactly like that. So very consistent quality with their their lower parts kits. Um, <clears throat> I have the board control designs castle nut. Geisley OD green buffer tube. Um, <clears throat> we are running the Ford Controls dimpled mag release. Um, and then I also have their, their ABC that I was able to score off of uh, um, off my buddies over at Junkyard Ops. So that was one of the, the things I was waiting on to get this finished and they got them in uh, and I snagged that up and completed the lower. Uh, I am running the Ford Controls OD Green uh, trigger guard as well. So, all in all, pretty awesome. I'm loving this setup. Um, the Magpul ASAP uh, sling adapter, which I do like to run the the paracord over the um, QD. I'm probably not in the uh, majority with that, but that is the my preference on sling. And I am running a um, SBA 3 at the moment um, and who knows what the ATF is going to do next month I know they're supposed to announce their proposed uh, ruling on on braces um, I in honestly intended to hopefully SBR this at some point anyways so it doesn't completely matter to me but I'm starting with the brace and uh, down the road hoping to be able to slap a B5 SOP mod on this setup uh, as well so, yep, pretty excited. I am running uh, Springco Spring and H2 Buffer. Um, I went with the Suns Buffer, so this build is pretty much all Sons of Liberty, uh, Ford Control Designs, Geisley, um, yeah, I mean SBA, and then the Magpul um, on there as well, and B5. So, yeah, very excited about this build. It came out really clean, uh, one of my cleaner builds that I've done. Um, huge shout out to Brownells. They're the t all the tools I've acquired from them have definitely made the building process uh, way easier and cleaner. Um, 
<clears throat> also got in this week the Junkyard Ops Geo Hex uh, Cam Mags. These are done by Blown Deadline. Super, super clean. Depending on the lighting I have found, it's a little hard to get the, the lighter green in there, but this is the OD green. But very clean, even the OD green uh, base plate. So, and it looks looks sick on this build. So, looking, uh, there you go. yeah, looks good. I am super excited about this whole setup, and uh, the mag kind of tied it in here at the end, too. So, definitely a huge shout out to uh, Junkyard Ops because looking really fresh with the uh, the mag on there, too. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's my build guys. Um, the, the trigger itself, give you a quick rundown on that. Pop this guy open. So maybe I'll do another one when I'm actually out in the field. Um, have a little trouble sometimes getting video out there on my own, but, or pictures too, but uh, we'll see what we can do. So first time using a two-stage trigger myself. Um, all my other builds are mil spec triggers. So this was a eye opener to, to a different level of, of trigger for me. Um, the pull was a little interesting to start. Let's see here. So for a break, you gotta. Yeah, so you can see we go from there to there is our, and then, and the, the spring that I have in there, this should be the 5.25, being I was used to, to mill spec triggers, um, I wanted to go ahead and start a little heavier, but, but yeah, there's a little bit of a, a pull before we hit that break. So, uh, quality wise though, man, it is a, it's a different ball game from what I've been using, uh, and has piqued my interest in trying uh, some of the other triggers out there. Uh, in particular, I guess I'm kind of partial to the Geisley since I started with that. Uh, so I might be snagging up another Geisley down the uh, the, ro the road here and um, and trying that in uh, a different build, maybe my SBR, um, my current SBR that I have, because that is running uh, a mil spec setup. So, but yeah, that's my build. Uh, like I said, I'm super excited about this setup. It turned out, I had an image in my head about, it's probably been a year and a half, two years uh, of what I wanted to build. And this came out pretty much spot on to that. Um, the only thing that kind of varied was at, at one point I did want the Sons of Liberty Sage um, Dynamics Upper, the 12.5. I have not seen those in stock in quite some time. Um, but I'm hoping that at some point to snag that upper up as well and mess around with a 12.5 um, as if you haven't watched my other upper uh, or the upper receiver video um, I'm a little partial to 11 11.5 uh, 11 uh, for short barrel lengths um, and with that um, the, the big hype around the 12.5 has me curious to, to try those out um, but cool that is it guys uh, like I said super excited about this setup <clears throat> and uh, more to come like I said maybe I'll, I'll actually do some more on the trigger out actually at the uh, the range but I will catch you guys later you have a good one uh, run suppressed stay blessed <laughs>